Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi everybody. Now Welcome they can hear you. Season Oh no, they can hear. Okay, awesome. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to season 15, episode 7 of Rivals yeah. of Waterdeep. Oh, it is so nice to be back with y'all. Thank you all for joining. Welcome y'all into chat who are arriving right now. We appreciate seeing y'all. Let's go around and do our introductions. We're going to follow it uh, the typical way as we do of the counterclockwise method. Uh, <laughs> we're going to kick it off to our one and only uh, Latia to start. Okay, good, because I can't, I'm not in my normal situation. I don't know where yeah. anybody is. I'm so lost. Hi. Uh, it's me, Latia, uh, coming at you live from somewhere on the West Coast. Uh, and uh, I play Dahani, everybody's favorite uh, Aarakocra monk who may or may not have murder bird tendencies. Uh, and both my pronouns and hers are she, her. Heck yeah. Right along, we've got Tanya. Hi, everybody. I'm Tanya Seifertier. I play Sleesh, your paladin ranger uh, with a skosh of barbarian, a.k.a. her. she gets her John Wick on. Uh, pronouns for both Sleesh and myself are she, her. Heck yeah. And then up next, John Wick on. we've got uh, the one and only Brian. Hey, it's me. Um, I am Brian. I am playing Virgil, your Asimar sorcerer, storm sorcerer. Uh, Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. Awesome. And then we've got Kent. No, I, no. I literally, I was, why? Did you, no, you, you no, it you did that like shit you on did purpose. That on purpose. Do not, do really, not even really, lie. Did, you did, did that shit on purpose. Here's, here's the real issue. We are you. We we aren't using our typical video streaming service, and so I'm like double checking, and the layout for that is different. Then are don't blame oh, that. If that's no, the case, no, no, I honey. really look no. like no. Eugenio. I know their oh, name. Oh, it's Eugenio. Everyone. That, it's Eugenio. <gasps> oh, oh, he's gonna murder, murder you now. Uh, wow. <laughs> I just want to say. I'm hi. just gonna. I'm just gonna turn Masood off. That's fair. <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio, and I play Kent, <laughs> and he's our phantom rogue tiefling with a mysterious burgeoning bard power. That's awesome. Up. up next, we've got <laughs> we've got Sharif. Hey, everybody. I'm Sharif. Uh, not sure what just happened in the last minute, but uh, nope. apparently Masood has disappeared, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, I am playing Shaka, Chiefling Celestial Warlock. Uh, he, see him. I'm he, him as well. Imagine in this moment, I had Gary the Wizard just pop up. He wasn't within reach. I oh thought my God, about I it would for die. a moment. But it would I been, would die. That's a scramble. I, <laughs> that would have been so good, like, though. Uh, hey, everyone. And then that leaves me. I'm the Masood Huck. I play Gazer Gnome Rad. Both our pronouns are Kihim. But for this episode, I'm also the GM. Uh, and so for that, I'll be using an assortment of pronouns for all the different NPCs our characters will come across throughout their journey today. Um, and... Before we get into it, though, I do want to give a special shout out to the folks that make us possible. And for that, I need to throw it over to Sharif to do some ad reads. Yeah, I don't know why. I just snack it. Right just you just snack it away. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm you know, we are caught out today. <laughs> oh. God. He's embodying Shaka. You know, Shaka always has snacks. A little snack. I, a little true, I, I do have some uh, cookies from the biddies. Finally, finally, they yes. sent them. Um, so I couldn't wait. Um, so, uh, we like to give a better shout out to all our sponsors. Um, let's start out with D&D Beyond. We have all our character sheets online and digitized. We can look up encounters. We can roll dice. We can look up spells, all that great stuff. Look up monsters. Uh, make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. Um, and uh, if you are listening live in the chat, uh, we will be having our giveaway as usual. So, make sure to look out um, for the code word to enter the giveaway. Um, and you must be present to win. So make sure to stick around and see if you can get some great source content books uh, from D and D Beyond. So make sure to ch check them out. They've been here literally since the beginning. Um, as we look toward the end of the series, they've, they're one of the people that've been here s since the beginning, which is awesome. Also, uh, we're proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Uh, check them out at dieharddice.com. Use the code RIVALS for 10% off of your dice purchase there. Um, if you want some geeky gear to adorn your area, make sure to check out Stormcrow. Um, Shop.stormcrow.com. Use the code RIVALS for 15% off of your purchase at Stormcrow. 
Um, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones, crew.bluemic.com slash rivals. Um, uh, if you make a uh, purchase at that link, we get cr- credit for it, which is great. And it'll just make your uh, projects look and sound better. So make sure to check out the good people um, at uh, Blue Microphones. Um, and we are also partnered by Idol Champions. Um, partnered with Idol Champions uh, by Codename Entertainment. Um, we are all uh, in the game. Well, our our characters are all in the game. I should say. Maybe we're in the I'm game in the too. Game. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to be just like a mindless enemy that gets slaughtered in like the first seconds. That'd be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> On repeat, um, every time maybe, you load maybe you're in, one like of, like if you use Kent's ultimate, like maybe we're one of the phantoms that show up. And, like, <laughs> yeah. That'd be sweet. I love That'd I love sweet. the idea of also in the graphics of the game. It's an actual just like real picture of our face, like superimposed <laughs> to like a ghost or something. All of the, all of the idol yeah. champions artists are listening to this and just weeping yeah. softly. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. So so um That's make sure it. to play. Um unlock all of our characters there um with some time gates or uh during and and one of the special events as well. Mm-hmm. Um including uh some uh familiars and characters from um from um, other shows that uh we are down with such as black dice society as well um and uh if you type in ex- exclamation code in the chat you'll get, you'll get this week's free electrum chest to help you gear up um and get some unlocks for your characters there um and we have a special guest uh who is who, who will help us with our voice mod uh advertisement as i see the look of distress on his face that will make the ad even even better so i throw it off finally you found voice mod so go to voicemod.net and use code rivals r-i-v-a-l-s to get five percent off that's voicemod.net uh, Eugenio, can you ask me if you could buy me a drink? <laughs> just, just real fast. Just, 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 well, just for me. can I buy you a drink? Thank you, thank you. That's all I need. Oh uh, well, no, don't want to get a copyright average. strike. I, I don't yeah. want to get our our VOD muted because of that picture perfect. Because of that picture perfect uh, version. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, you know what? And the best thing is, we know T Pain's on Twitch, so I hope this cl- gets clipped and sent out to him. And he has like <sighs> a brief moment. I was like, "Cool, I'm gonna watch that TNT uh, TTRPG <laughs> podcast now." Uh, but we're the rivals. We're excited to be back. It is episode seven, and we're just gonna jump right into it. But to do that, we got to talk about what happened previously on. So, thank you, Woosh Captain. I was gonna you take it away was, from here. <laughs> I got afraid for a second. I was like, I, I think was, I'm gonna I, skip. That was My the intention. I was like, oh, we're just going to go back. No, quick left turn. How dare you? All right, everybody, get your whooshing apparatuses ready and direct them directly at Masood. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to all knock him over. <laughs> all right, just knock him over with your whooshes. <laughs> Blow him away. <laughs> Blow him <laughs> ready. All right, <laughs> y'all. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. He's gone. <laughs> okay. We did it. It's okay. I'm back. My goodness. Oh, the other oh, one. The we're we're the the yeah, the chat it was pretty ones. good, actually. It was pretty good. <laughs> oh, y'all. Welcome back. Hey, what happened previously on Rivals of Water in our mid season finale? Oh, gosh. Shaka killed the fucking Xanathar. Mm. He sure did. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, just the roles worked out. And, uh, and it Xanathar felt was trying so- to. Good. Yeah, did. like Xanathar was trying to crawl away, uh, and and I stalk and, by I stalk. What a com- what a <laughs> come down. What a come down. Gross. Yeah, and uh, Shaka was able to you know stop just trying to melee attack when he's a non melee attack person and uh, use those blasts. It was awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now with the Xanathar sort of gone, we. Uh, Things were pretty resolved in a certain way for Shaka. How did folks feel for some of the other things that were left up here? <laughs> well, yeah, Virgil and Dahani. Yeah, so here's here's the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm 
this good. is rival this is rivals of water deep news coming to you live from inside a previously dormant volcano with the magic <laughs> uh so currently suppressing the heat being uh dissipated we don't know what the fuck we're gonna do yes, yes. back to you <laughs> <laughs> yes oh, i wish i was faster at the voice mod soundboard i would have found the like news sticker <laughs> noise for you <laughs> 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 You're wrong if you don't think I'm if you think I'm not still looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, with uh, so yeah, the there's this whole thing with you know uh, us being at the bottom of a volcano and um, you know the, dealing with that whole thing. But yeah, cool. I'm gonna pass it to Virgil who uh, is dealing with some family issues at the bottom of a volcano. I was in another window. What? <laughs> um yeah so yeah uh there uh uh sorry yeah so laren turns out is Virgil's nephew that he didn't know and probably should have talked about more in the flashbacks thanks for that masood and oh, then dante is Virgil's brother who hadn't you know like again i, I love inventing family members on the fly because i was like okay i'll roll with this sure and um it was interesting to be able to play out a weird sort of sibling dynamic that I hadn't anticipated. But the main deal was that Dante is trying to shut up, oh, Alexa. Um, Dante is trying to um, watch the 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 Zor family, which is essentially a crime family. We are a legitimate business family that is dealing with lots of waste disposal and Cara Dune is what's going on. Sure, sure, sure. And Laren was trying to kind of step out on his own and made a bad deal with the Xanathar. So there was a whole like dealing with family hating magic, dealing with his brother having to pick up after the family. And it was it was fun and interesting. But essentially at the end of things, um we we kind of like hogtied Laren and said, Here, go to your dad. <laughs> which is which was the last thing he apparently wanted, which is why it was so fun an incredible way to describe what we did to that man <laughs> there was like, a slap and there was some like punching and there was some stunning and it was like it was yeah, like but just... now but now i just have this image of like the six of us carrying laren out trussed up like a pig yeah, it's, for the it's like a rodeo yeah it's like we yeah. lassoed him up yeah. <laughs> and i love it um, and we, I love it. And we just, all we knew was that Laram was going for a bigger score. He was mm -hmm. trying to prove himself with the Xanathar. And we couldn't actually, we still couldn't get a whole lot of what the plan was. We knew that the bottom of the volcano was being used to power, sorry, the geothermal energy from the volcano that they, that he used Godzrick to basically flippity flop was all being funneled into magic to fuel a portal to water deep. And sadly, once we broke Laren out of whatever, he was kind of like, <laughs> oh, oh, so great. I, we don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> well, I think that's a good place to like sort of ask about it is great. when we talked a little bit in the post show of what is it going to be like for people who had this connection to the Xanathar and then to have lost it. So if you missed out on that, sorry, you're not a Patreon subscriber. Um, <laughs> but it was it was good conversation. Uh, and... I think that might be a good uh, question to sort of analyze. Um, I feel like there's maybe just one other major thread that we got to explore as a group, or maybe not as a group, but one individual. Uh, no? You think we got No, all? I mean, we got, no, we had like Solis, and yeah. there was Kent, and yeah. there's Virgil, and there's. No, Tahani, but what happened with Solis? And Shaka. Because we mentioned and, it, but um, we didn't talk about that's it. all the rivals, right? He's just, just naming fight, us. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 there it is. Yeah. Those are all there the people over there. That's all. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, guys, we forgot Walter. Walter oh, was Walter. there. Eh, no one cares oh, about Walter. And then he's gonna back. He's gonna back onto the uh, damsel. No, um, no, 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 no. one no, cares. That's a, that's about a great. Walter. That's a great thing. If the camera lens, if the camera lens turns office style to Solis. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, yes, perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. just perfect. With a hot, with a like unconscious body in the corner. Yeah. Like, yeah. Unconscious? Yeah. Did so you, far. you knock them out last at the end of the last episode? I right? did, I but it's been out. two weeks. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um. So, where depending on where we go after all this, uh, yeah. Faye is. Faye is basically getting dragged around like a sack of potatoes because she's going to answer for her crimes. Um, 
love a good potato. What? <laughs> said we love a good potato. Yeah, but at least potatoes potato. have a purpose. Faye's just Faye. <laughs> oh, so damn. I mean, she triple crossed <laughs> us and then acted like it's like, well, T he is just who I am. And I'm like, cool. This is just who I am. And I gave her one too. So um I mean, if there's playing all the angles. She just hedging her bets, you know? She can hedge her bets not with my heart. So that'd be a good card. That'd be a good card. Don't don't, don't do it. Don't say that it. would not, no, don't. I'm just saying that would kind of took me a minute. I was like Okay. You know okay. what? I'll I'm the one running nope. the tech here. I'm just going to turn no, it over. No, no, no. I think it's <laughs> perfect, and I fear for her life. So we all just vanish yeah, yeah. from the call. Like, you know, right. I mean, <laughs> if we well, had more time at the end of last episode, we could have heard a little bit more from their opinion. But that's what this episode and the future episodes are for, as we delve into go. what was sort of the background on this uh, uh, so relationship question. questions, betrayals. DM, I have a question. Yes. Um, where are we at this point? Have we gone back home? Are we still there? What a good question. Yeah. I don't even think we've started playing. We've just been doing the previous We have not. <laughs> if you okay. like me, I would love to take you into the realm of gameplay. Sure. Please do. <laughs> and with a razzle and a dazzle and a kerfuffle, we move our way into the realm of the game. Back to immediately after the fight. You all are standing there. An unconscious Faye is lying, is still in this bubble, or do you, no, you undid the bubble that you Yeah, so I could smack her. Right, right. And they're laying unconscious in front of you. Uh, the Xanathar corpse is underneath uh, Shaka's gaze as they loom over it. Uh, Virgil is standing uh, next to Dante, who's like got Laren on his back, uh, piggyback style as he's asleep. Um, sort of trying to figure out what to do next. Eugenio, where is Kent in all of this? Are they standing next to? Um, I think as close to Virgil, you know, without sort of being in the way. Yeah. This is a, this is a thing, you know, we, we did, this is one of those things that we haven't talked a ton about. Virgil and Kent have not talked a ton about, right? Is, mm -hmm. is the rest of the, the fam. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I want to be close enough to be supportive, but also not, you know, present in a place or time that i shouldn't be <laughs> heck yeah i think that's uh, a great so you're kind of standing nearby just checking in seeing if there's yeah. anything that you need to do to uh provide additional support and because wildly yeah. kent got out of this relatively unscathed compared to everyone else like uh yes it was it was uh La not laren's it was the other one uh whose name is help me d dante Dante, okay. thank you. It was Dante's yeah. bar that I, but other than that, but like, I felt bad about that for a long time. So that ain't nothing new. Right. Uh, but the rest of you were like triple crossed and oops, I got a nephew and yeah. oh my God, my home <laughs> volcano is cold and right. I finally killed my boss and I'm I mean, hanging and out. Who knows? That's the now that you, we need. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think in some ways now you know the dude that you cross, maybe if you want a chance of redemption of some kind, that could, is yeah, it, it, yeah, that feels so, that feels so problem for later when the bigger things have no, been no, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> Virgil, Dante, I know you got your whole like family stuff. Let me talk to you about this bar issue. <laughs> well, and I'll tell you like, me Eugenio is like, there are bigger things to deal with in this moment. Kent is like, yeah. well, I don't want to talk about this. I can definitely pretend that I'm more concerned about other bigger things right now. <laughs> yep. I love that. I love that. Uh, and speaking of people who are concerned about some other different things, what's going on with Tahani at this moment Hi. as the <laughs> Xanathar has fallen? You've gotten a, a corpse, and we noticed that it's still cold, that the door, like, I don't know if you were expecting an immediate way for the magic to end, but what's going through Tani's head? I mean, I'm very happy that it is still cold, as a mm -hmm. matter of fact, because we're still down here. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, as it stands, I think I'm just kind of waiting for everybody else to figure out what they're going to do. I'm standing somewhere in the vicinity of Celise and Faye, having assisted with the knocking out of the ladder. Um, just kind of... I'm just happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Just happy to be there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, then I leave you all to this place. What do you got? What do you all do in this moment? Uh, you're muted. Uh, Rich, you are muted. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Shock is uh, still trying to get himself together. Um, yeah. So I don't think he's really, um, uh, I guess, paying much attention to what other folks are doing. 
Um, but uh, I think last time we ended, he was sitting. But I, I, I could take that. He's no, no, no. Th- thank you. I like, I like sitting. Uh, I, either way, but, your gaze, I imagine, has not. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But he's kind of like just focusing on that, mm-hmm. and just his mind is kind of basically replaying all the events that he thought he was doing for right. You know, mm-hmm. he had to do some uh, robberies, some uh, you know, taking out of folks, some uh, you know, some uh, some gathering of favors, and all these kind of things that he's done way before. He even met the rivals and then even thinking about things that he did early early as well while he's with the rivals so mm-hmm. he's kind of it's kind of like a, a a vhs replay going on in his brain right now mm-hmm. so he's just thinking about all that stuff so as you're thinking about all of those things and knowing about the history and the time that you have spent with the xanathar under their thrall after their thrall there's a moment where give me either insight or an arcana check. Mm-hmm. I, I think you uh, you might be muted again, but let me double check. Am I? Oh, nope, not, not anymore. anymore. Nope, you're good. Right. Critical failure. It was just, it yeah. was just that Critical awesome oh. wide-eyed wonder, and we were like, <laughs> incredible. Um, everyone else is caught up looking at sort of other things in this moment there's a lot of stuff that's happening um and reef you don't see it either and so i won't talk about what happens no uh <laughs> I, think, I think that's just what i have to say Perfect. uh but cool um uh, there's nobody else down here with us at this point, right? That we have. No, there's mentioned. nobody else down here. But if okay. you want to make a perception check, if you want to like look around. No, no, no. And I, and I don't think there is. I'm just making yeah. sure that like there isn't, some, you know, someone else that we should be uh, keeping an eye on or dealing some with or whatever. Sad minion who's just been watching this whole thing. Like I <laughs> yeah, really yeah, hope yeah. they don't know this. Pretty sure. Me over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. They, I mean, I'll describe the chamber again to you all if you want to. Uh, would you mind actually? And then no, I, yeah, I, that'd I, be great. I'll, yeah, absolutely. So there is the sort of upper um, crevasse hallway that you guys entered in from towards mm-hmm. the back of the space. The room is pretty cavernous. It's basically just like it seems like there's nothing else really going on on here. There is one other um, pathway that is leading out where the last time right. the Xanathar was seemed to be like moving towards that in some capacity um and there's a couple other offshoot tunnels off the side but their corpse at least was shuffling towards the one in front of them with the had um a xanathar sigil carved into the rock above it right 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 Mm -hmm. so i think in this sort of what is now clearly an extended uh Mm -hmm. shocked sort of silence and stillness in this room um i think kent will just say very sort of quietly and calmly um why don't we get out of here let's go back up back outside and we can deal with and he resists the urge to be a little flip and say gestures broadly or something equally silly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can sort of tell it hurts him, but he doesn't say it. Uh, we can deal with whatever needs to be dealt with, but I think we gotta we gotta get out of here. But why can't I just throw her in the bottom of the volcano? Well, one, it's cold right now, so it's probably <laughs> not gonna work. Yeah. I'm, honestly, bro, I was saying the exact same thing. I was like, you're I've... just gonna talk. I've got magic. Because I don't think any decisions made right now are going to be regret-free in the future. (laughs) So he just gives you a look like, do you think I'm going to regret bouncing her Mm -hmm. off a cave wall? But okay. (laughs) There is a shuffle happening next to Faye's body. Oh. As you look right. and you see the bag yeah, we that was on the ground out. suddenly move mm-hmm. and fingers burst out through the top oh, and Duo's head bursts through. Oh my god. Through oh, her chest? Oh my god. Oh god. No. That's, 
That's disturbing. Oh. Oh, no. How can I poke him in the head and see if this is the corporeal one? Like, if he's yeah. tired? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Well, I mean, nah, if you, he is not... You cannot see through him, so I think that is okay. That's a start. It might be a benefit, but you could try poking him as well. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. Poke him. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 don't push me. I, this, this is a really deep bag, okay? I, I'm it not took me a while. You know, you know, at, at that point, then I will actually like, I poke him, he's very solid. I'm gonna grab him by the scruff of his neck and pull yeah. him out of the oh, bag. Huh. Oh, oh, like he's a kitten. Oh my god, I mean, it's the fastest thing. I know, it's just hilarious. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to take Faye's bag. Uh, 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 I get that bag first. Well, I just said I was taking it. I didn't say I was going to keep it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just like... Do you have this argument in character? I, I think yes, I, think I do. <laughs> oh, no, no. This is in character. Like, like so here, here's how it goes. I, yeah. I like, do a duo, duo, Jesus. Duo Aww. pops his head out of the... I know, yeah, I miss him so much. Yeah. <laughs> he pops his head out of the bag. I pick him up by the scruff. I deposit him. And then, like, in the back of the Hani's mind, it's like, I wonder what else is in here. So I just, like, lift the bag, and then, like, as soon as I've got it off of her, Elise is like, Mm-mm-mm. I didn't say I was going to keep it. No, what? that bag is mine after what she put me through. Thank you. I, just... I take it, and I sling it over my shoulder, like, uh-uh, nah. You have Faye's uh, bag. It's artificed, it's worked on, it's clearly have some sort of spells done to it to increase its carrying capacity. Mm. And something also to make it feel truly like you hold this and it, you shake it around while you move it and like you hear some things, a cavernous echo come out of it in a way that seems unlikely Mm. of like how much content's inside of it, but it does not feel to carry the weight of its contents. Cool. So it's a bag of holding. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to describe it, but I like the way I did it, because I got so much flavor. Wow. <laughs> All about uh, the flavor. But no, 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 no. It, it is Faye's bag of holding. And there are a couple Ooh. other additional things Ooh. that if you care to investigate, oh, maybe there's presents. Sure, I'll we'll investigate. Once, once cool. we're not here. Yeah. And so I think uh, with this statement, everyone sort of agrees they're, they're making their way out. <laughs> On uh, your exit, which um, can I just ask real quick, Shaka? Do you would you want to bring the Xanathar's body? Because I know you had a moment last time where you didn't want anyone to like mess with it. But yeah, well, if you guys are getting up to leave, I mean, I'd say you notice Shaka is still yeah in the same position. Yeah. Uh, so you, you you can come up and ask him. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I'll do that. I'll go over to you, just real like, and just real quietly behind you. Just say, hey, uh, do you want us? Do you want do you want us to bring that with us? Well, I'm kind of weighing two options. One, okay, I don't want there to be any chance of somebody trying to resurrect or yeah. cast some kind of spell. Um, but two, I don't want to carry around <laughs> the thing that uh, I hated. So if there's a way to easily, I don't know, is there a way to easily carry? And I just hold open the bag like, is, <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, uh, is Gosrick around? Does he have enlarge reduce? I think he might be the only one of us who might ha- be able to cast that. He is in the damselfly, so if you guys want to like just do a quick like whoop, whoop, sort of double back. And, okay, like... so so we could ask Gosric to to just make it a little more manageable. We can bring it with us for now, and do something with it, you know, when when you're ready. I, I don't think I can carry it. So. Okay, okay. If Gosric can get a little smaller, we can stick it in. Uh, some sort no, of I, I, I mean carry it to the damselfly. Oh, no, no, no. I will get Gosrick to come down here. No, I'll go get <laughs> oh. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll reduce it down here, and we'll then deal with it. Okay. I mean, if anyone has message or some sort of thing, they can I yeah, might. Also okay. reach out to Walter, the I mean, rival themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Is that is that okay, Chaka? Yeah. I mean, I think given everything, I think it's the best thing we could do. And and look, you know, once once things are settled and we're out of here, if you don't 
ever want to deal with it again, we will. We will make sure that there is no way that thing's coming back and you don't ever have to think about it again. Or if you want to be the one to take care of it, you just let us know. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm sorry. It's just a lot to process right now. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a plan as to what to do with this thing. I just don't want to leave it here. Um, yeah, I, you don't have to apologize for a thing. I have known you only a couple of years now, but I, I know this must be a lot. So we got you. Yeah, bud. Yeah. We got your back. If also, nobody has message. I'm going to new oh, to the yeah. damsel fly. I'm... Or you do? Yeah, just, hey. yeah. Um, yeah, kind of Virgil taps the side of his head and looks upward. Because <laughs> I realize, like, yeah, we're, like, down. Okay. Yeah. Um, and points and points and just says, um, Gosrick, I hope you're rested. Things are at a stopping point here if you can join us. And also let Rival know that we will be back. Okay. Um, I, yeah, absolutely. I'll be right there. And for the record, What do is the one thing we share in common in regards to weather? Oh, oh, that's our. our you see Virgil. Word. You see Virgil visibly, visibly like, <laughs> and like kind of like leans away from the rest of you as he whispers, "Thunder, snow." I would have also accepted we're the only ones who have a color palette of blue. That is also fine. Uh, Try not to get punked on these messages again. So I'm just. This is going to be a, a a bit of a process for a while. Oh just yeah, the uh, the yeah, stone down the stone down here appears to be affecting. We could probably <laughs> we're in a cavern, so I think that we are slowly going to buy us. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure you're just whispering, and also it's in my mind, so I know <laughs> the value. <laughs> oh my god! Just get down here. <laughs> Gazer comes down. It's funny. He's uh, a little better in terms of like there's a little more color in his face he probably he just talks to you like uh walter sort of helps him along and he's like yeah i got some food in him uh he hasn't oh. eaten in a while i don't think in many months uh but he wasn't actually sustaining himself i think by the by the energy of the world uh he's like yes yes it seems <laughs> right, right. um how do you see, even know what i don't and the lichens were giving me some sort of aid i feel do i do feel better i had some food hey um, you too hey hey hi hi we got I, and then I point at the giant beholder. Can My you... Guani. Wow. 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 Um, okay. Gazik sees Shaka. Hey, dude. Can you, uh, can you take care of this thing? Absolutely. I, I got you, pal. Um, and Gazik steps up and begins to look at it. And so, um, do you want this decomposed? Do you want this? Let's um, like... let's just make it smaller if you can manage for now, yeah. and then we're gonna deal with it later. Absolutely. Um, Gazrik goes to put his hand on the Xanathar's body, and the moment he touches it, it begins to deflate, and it becomes thinner and thinner and he like steps back and he says i'm not doing this i did not start casting that uh and it flattens itself and then it begins to shrink and shrink and the air that was inside the xanathar begins to swirl and it whooshes oh no oh, running no. towards running towards shaka oh no shaka is lifted in the air Oh, oh no! In what a moment, the snap? where's my character sheet? How do I help? Where he's rising up. Oh no! How far he's up like, is he? I think he's all about of us immediately go. All of us immediately go back into battle stance, tired as we were. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to try to jump up and grab Shaka. Mm -hmm. Let's. Okay. Yeah, Virgil's already kind of floating toward. <laughs> toward him mm -hmm. uh, not as not as graceful kent, as a dahani grab but you know <laughs> kent is kent is gonna and and listen or don't it's fine but kent is gonna say maybe let's see what happens chaka is rising you've got Celise wrapping around them trying to help in some capacity shaki uh -huh. you notice none of this the moment the whoosh sort of comes at you much like your character profile your eyes 
turn white in your head. And you hear a voice deep in your conscious reverberating through you. There has always been a Xanathar for Watadu. There will always be a Xanathar for the Watadu. The title is what the title does. Shaka, your eyes open. You are laying back on the ground of the cavern. You've got some sort of soot and dust running across your outfit. Um, but other than that voice, you seem to be doing okay. What's going on for everyone else as they saw Shaka lift, fall gently, and then awake in front of you? Uh, in that amount of time, like it was like almost instant. It was truly seven seconds, like a quick sort of moment of okay. not Rounds six. Change. A yeah. lot can ha see. Yeah. A lot can happen in seven seconds. Is exactly. Why I was like okay, <laughs> like <laughs> start a whole new round. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Lord. I'm actually like trying to hold Shaka because I was terrified he was going to die. I, I actually like that. I think yeah. he's like, you're like holding him up as he comes to almost like you guided him as he descended back down. And I'm like terrified because of, yeah, you know, we, we lost knock, knock. And I thought for a second he was about to turn into a beholder. <laughs> <laughs> and when he opens his eyes, Shaka, is it, is it you? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And Shaka starts frantically looking where he last saw the beholder's body. Where is the beholder's body? Is that husk? Yeah, is that husk still there? The husk is okay. decomposing in front of you. Ooh. As Ooh. it's as it it's truly like reached its flattened state, all the air fell out of it. It right. almost seems to now implode in some ways on itself mm -hmm. as it falls smaller and smaller until you can't even visually see it anymore. Okay. So as that happens, Shock is like, no, no. And he just puts what happened? Oh, no. onto the ground. Are you all right? What's, What's wrong? Let's see. Did he get away? Um... And I looked toward all everyone saw, else. Like all Did, we saw was it it flattened and then you went up in the air and then you came back down and now this. What wait, happened? I went in the I went in the air? Yes. Yeah, you did a little floaty thing. I just heard a voice. Um I guess I thought everybody heard it, but I'm getting a sense that maybe only I heard it. Did anybody hear anything? No. What did the voice say? No, no. what did it say? Um it basically said that there will always be a Xanathar. And uh, if you want to ask the DM to repeat what he said, I can do that. <laughs> I mean, it's a shock of summarizing it. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it's, it's, it's Shaka's notes. We're good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just Shaka's cliff. <laughs> cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Yes. Um, but if there's something in there that I missed that's super important. Well, this is why I wanted to ask is like, do you share the full message? No, no, no. That, no. That's, I, I just no, summarize no. it. Yeah. You just summarize it. Okay. Oh. The full message for Shaka, just to remind yourself, is... Yeah, yeah. That's that's like what mm -hmm. struck him. And yes. That's what mm -hmm. and because, because he's still like a traumatic moment still. Oh, yeah. yeah. So and he's not like able to give a pitch perfect recap. Yeah, yeah. And the body, the, the corpse, like it... it it basically flattened, decomposed, shrunk, and it just like it literally just kind of winked in on itself. It wasn't. It did not look as as magical portals may go or teleportation or shifting. It didn't look like that. It just kind of was like, think. Give me a roll if you want to verify. I'm gonna say if you're and, like you're asking a lot of the right questions. Just give me a check to tell you what I can tell you. What kind of check do you want on that? What do you if you're investigating you what's dare, happening? If okay, you're trying like, to don't use you Arcana dare to say Arcana, I swear to God. I yeah, I'm giving. I didn't start with it. I gave. I led with investigation for that reason. You know, like, either. I mean, it's just as bad, so it's fine. Let's go. I love a mystery. <laughs> let me let me help you solve. Eh, it's you, eleven. 
It's an 11. Okay. Uh, at 11, you, they, I'm pretty sure you don't sense any energy go off, any activation of magic. Um, there's no one nearby. When you cast that message spell as you're trying to reach folks, I don't know if it gives you an ability to know all the people within the area, but in a certain capacity, I think you all would just assume that it's just you all down here. So if something else was to trigger, it would be by the folks in this room. Um, so something else is happening. Something else occurring with the actual, it's not a teleportation, it's not a portal activation. Mm -hmm. I, re I realize uh, I pointed to you and that makes no sense, but <laughs> Latia. Uh, I would like to, uh, Latia would like to insert herself into the narrative. Yeah. Uh, no, Dahani would like to. <laughs> um, yes. While this is going on, this this kind of moment with Shaka, Dahani would actually like to go over to the door entryway place that the Xanathar appeared to be going towards. Mm -hmm. I want to take a little look, see in there, see what he might have been on his way to do. Other Absolutely. Than escape. And as you walk uh, in that direction, you hear a couple of footsteps behind you as Walter says, "Oh, if you're going exploring, I'll come. Yeah, let's take a look." Uh, as uh, he like walks up behind you. And you guys make your way through uh, this tunnel. Maybe it's 10 to, no, it's longer than, I'd say like probably 30 to 35 feet of a bend around the corner as you mm -hmm. enter another like space. Mm -hmm. um, in, in, a, in, a, in a move that is absolutely shocking for everyone yeah. involved, I do not tell him to stay behind. <laughs> Very nice. As you guys walk into... Um, the smaller room from this tunnel path. It is a little unkempt. There's some bottles and artifacts thrown around on the floor, but mm -hmm. at the center of it, in the back of the space, sits what you would imagine to be a kiln. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um... Can I do like an investigation check on that? See, see what the heck's going on there? For sure. Cool. Plus zero. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a 14. On a 14, as you walk in the room, first thing and foremost, you feel instantly colder. It is, as you noted on the walk, it almost felt like there's a draft pulling you from behind towards this kiln. As you get closer to it and you look at it, you see that there are some gemstones embedded into it some uh sort of artificed items included and some sigil marks if you were to hazard a guess this is a combination of three um magical forces druidic mm -hmm. artificed and demonic to make whatever is happening here that's fun mm -hmm. um and you say i feel like do I feel like the air, so the air, it gets colder in here. So yeah. the air behind me that is being pulled into this room is warmer, so uh, to speak? Yeah, co sort of. It's more or less you feel a draft. It's like okay. whatever the air is, is getting pulled behind you into this thing. Um, okay. The door to the kiln is currently shut. If you would like to open it, that's up to you. Hmm. Hey, Walter. Yeah. What do you think we should do? Um. Well, I don't really know what's going on here in terms of the technology or the fights that were happening, mm -hmm. but it feels weird that this volcano isn't active as it should be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. I do kind of just want to see what's inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, open the door. Okay. Reach out, hand shaking, puts his hand on the, it's, and for the record, the door is like truly, it's more like a window. It's more mm -hmm. like the size of your monitor that you're reaching out. And he puts his hand on it. I, I it go, pulls it, Yeah, it pulls it open. <laughs> and inside, the moment the door opens, you feel an immense level of heat yeah. sort of push off you. And as you look, it's so bright suddenly that you actually can't 
directly look at what's inside. But if you want to take a quick glance, give me a perception check. Cool. Mm -hmm. 19. 19. Incredible. You're going to take about like I have, to do, I, have to, I have to do one thing. Oh, he's not he's not lifting the calculator, so that's that's better. <laughs> it's not big math. <laughs> oh no, he's he's calculating. This is a this is a long okay. DM making rolls pause. <laughs> While Terry gets blasted and he holds his eyes, ah, I can't. Oh God, see ten points of damage just from looking at this thing. You take I do? three. You take three. Oh, I take three. As oh no! Brief glimpse as you look at it. You see the only thing that you could describe as a sun, a tiny, tiny sun, somehow being held and controlled in this device. Cool. Uh, I pull him away from it. Does he look like he's been severely hurt by this? Uh, you look at him and he, he goes, ah, it's hot. I can't, I can't, oh God, it was so bright. Ah, uh, uh, God, I can't really see for right now. Um, okay, yeah, okay, but does he still have eyeballs? Uh, yeah, he still has eyeballs. Okay, cool. God, what, uh, what a question to ask me and for me to really teeter on whether it was a yes or no. Yeah, you sure what? didn't answer very quickly. I, 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 I posited both the realities. I was like, is there a searing eyeballs resistance that we need to know about? Yeah, like, right? Yeah, check. It's All right, no, check I leave. Minus seven. <laughs> I leave him out of this room um, yeah. and I go back to everybody mm -hmm. um, and I say, well, I got good news. Oh, I found the heat. Oh, all of it. Actually, probably every last Kelvin, every single How Kelvin. How dare you? Look, Kelvin's units of measurement are becoming all the rage in Schultz. The thing is, he never shuts up every time he visits the manor. It's all oh, about no. heat and oh, cold I regret every everything single time. I, my life. I mean, it could uh, be Gregorian, too. Him and, no. him and Kelvin him are the and same. Gregory and Julian all together, and they can just deal, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> wow. I've made uh, mistakes. So yeah, I do. Okay, great. Do, we, do you know how to, like... Re release i don't even know what question i'm asking you dahani do we no, know so, how to <laughs> no so i i explained the kiln situation ah. and how it appears to be made up of several different type of magics while i kind of like sit while tear down and like tell him to rub some dirt in his eyes not really um <laughs> i mean i can lay on hands recover, if he's really okay. hurt amazing re recover recover his eyesight because he like i'm truly leading him out of this place but um but yeah, I think I found how, at the very least, we begin to warm up the volcano again. Great. That sounds Rick. Rick. What did it involve for us? Did, I mean, uh, you, uh, is it, uh, Gazrick's a little up to speed now. He says, yes, I think I remember. A thank little, you. Let's go do a history go. check with its advantage. I was like, yeah. Gazrick, go, go you... Gazrick remember that. And you. sadly, when Dahani mentions that it, it may have also had a touch of artificer mm -hmm. quality to it. Virgil looks over towards Elise and is Faye still in the sphere or is she just- No, but she's tied up and unconscious, yeah. so. Okay. Oh, right, she got, yeah, she got out of the sphere yeah, and yeah. then not. Um, Should oh, I wake her up? I can wake her up. Yeah, we, I mean, she's still useful for now. Mm -hmm. If not, I'll put her in the kiln. I feel like it's going to be, from what she told us, hard to open that and do anything. I was, with uh, yeah, it, so. I think I think he described the door might be a little difficult to get them into it. Well, uh, it's an even trade. We get the sun, they get the kill, and gets her. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, so from yeah, what maybe, I remember in Gazer World in eleven with this mm -hmm. advantage, um, it, it's a little blurry, uh, mm -hmm. but I do recall it was a triumphant endeavor. The mm -hmm. Xanathar couldn't, unfortunately, do it directly, so had to use Lairn as a conduit to contribute some of the sigil markings. Um, I found the gemstones. That sounds right. Yeah, I found the gemstones that were needed um, and imbued them with some of the magics. 
and then Faye did some of the fine tuning, the the pipe work and the um, metallurgy that needed to happen. Of course she did. So, do, do you... we need to just? Dis- Sorry, go ahead, Virgin. Yeah. You've been trying to ask this. Do you, do you remember to what end? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if I was to look at it, I think it would be a way of... Have you all ever gotten um, a knot really really bad like you had a bunch of rope or something and you didn't tie it up oh. properly okay, I was like, mm-hmm. I was like where's this going I was like a tree yes. knot a muscle knot right, like, muscle yeah, 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 yeah. like okay I think that's the best way for myself to imagine it it's it's okay. a knot and I want inside the knot is the sun right that's that, that that's that's the fact and we need to undo the knot right, in a okay. way that doesn't cause the sun to immediately bleed out and destroy us. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I I think there might be a, a, a. Let me take some time with it. Let me look at it. Okay. Um, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, you guys. Uh, I'll be. I'm gonna go in the room. I'll I'll, I'll take a gander. Um, How big uh, was Dante, the Dante, do you mind? How big was it? What? The, the kiln. kiln. How, how the kiln, big was the it? kiln was is it like, truly eh? it like I the best way to describe it, it is built into the wall. And okay. it's kind of like it's got its center point that's re- like at the bottom and so we can't just like sort of... we can't just like take it up to rival and drop it in. Damn it. <laughs> I mean I was gonna <laughs> ask. Practical practical solutions yeah. is what I was trying for. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So, uh, because oh, okay. like, oh no, I can definitely, I can take a look at it. I can see okay. what's going on there, um, and then I might uh, Dante, right? And he's like, I don't sure. Is this is he with you? Yeah. Yeah. He's close. yeah. Yes. All right. Squirrely little dude. Um, yeah. What's up, the guy? And he says, that's, Oh, you know, just, I. Um, that's just the one on his beard. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I need. Um, pardon me. Uh, your son was the conduit for uh, the Xanathar's work? He says, yeah, unfortunately. Um, do you mind if you... Um... <sighs> this is tough. Can you stab his finger and give me like three drops of blood? I'm sorry, blood magic? What? Virgil just turns and looks at Gosric. What? I, I don't remember much, but I do remember something about the sigils being written in blood, so I think I might have to undo it in blood. Okay, you should lead with that next time. Oh, okay, so yeah, I think this, I think I remember something about the sigils being <laughs> written in yeah. blood, so. Now your request makes more sense. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's still horrible. Sorry, I was a rock for a while. Syntax and arguments is something I'm getting better at. I, I, I am so, oh God, I'm not going to say it. The, que- the question is, was he ever good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Say, do I we shut you up at all, but okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> do we need to wake up Faye? Um, maybe in the moment. I, I think I, I, it's up to you if you want to wake them up. And Gosrick, you mentioned that this is, it's similar to a knot and different types of magic went into it. Mm-hmm. What would happen just on a whim if only one source of that was slowly perhaps reclaimed? Like the magic that you put in, perhaps you could slowly yeah. reclaim that. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't, don't, actually... act, like, don't actually try that right now because I don't Are want... Are you sure? You know. I mean, I'm, I, right now we've got to try something. I could, I could give it a shot. Okay, can you try that when we're out of here? I think that's a good idea. <laughs> they, they... Maybe, maybe we should be but mm-hmm. perhaps then we can also look at um I, I i wonder if perhaps remove it since it is held in so precisely perhaps it only needs a single point of failure to start to unravel slowly mm. oh mm. Ooh, i see like a a uh a house of cards where if I just remove one, it might all tumble or... That or yeah, but a lot if, slower if than a house of cards. Yes. Gotcha. If it's a knot, perhaps we are only removing the fibers of one of the strands mm-hmm. slowly to give us room for the knot to release itself. 
what if we didn't untie the knot but cut the wire that was keeping cut the rope that was keeping it bound almost then i feel like we really don't want to be nearby when that happens okay well let me go take a look at it let me see what i can do um don't leave without me or or tell me when you're leaving one or the other I would say we'll send a note, but that seems inappropriate at this point. I'm just in the other room, but I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> uh, Gazik sort of walks off uh, into the other room, getting things situated. Um, Wait, how far and... away is the other room? Did we hear this? Did we hear like the screaming and the and from Walter like while we were actually killing? probably it was, like, probably like forty <laughs> total feet away. away. So yeah, I bet, I bet you totally would. Okay. <laughs> and so. Uh, Gothic sort of disappears off. Uh, the rest of y'all are there. Um, Duo sort of walks up to y'all and says, hey, um, this is a little weird. Have I not been a ghost? Well, um, and um, <laughs> you're real like, eh. Because I'll no. be honest, I were actually being a ghost. Yeah. For a little mm-hmm. bit or something mm-hmm. like that. Like, I'm. Why don't you tell. Did I just forget about smelling? Like, was that a thing that I forgot existed? Because now I'm smelling all the time. I didn't know I couldn't. As a ghost, you don't smell. As in, you are stinky or you can smell things? Well, Rude, say both. I don't know if it's both. me yet, but there's an assortment of just smell. I forgot about smells, I mean, is what I'm it telling is, you. It is probably somewhat warm in here, so we probably all smell. Sure, sure. <laughs> I, look, he just said, Duo just said Duo, smells. Buddy. I was confirming. You, you are certainly not a ghost now. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So how did I reincarnate myself? Well, it's can a we long story. Duo, it's a long I, story. I feel like we'll we should go with that. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Yeah, we, mm-hmm, I would yeah. love to. I would love to get this detailed out and option it for a book. This feels like a really good story. So, at least who was your publisher on your autobiography? Because I really think I think this might be good press for me. I don't know if the Tower family is going to ever speak to us again. So I don't. Are you sure? I don't mean to cut anything short if we want to continue to have this conversation, but I see this just like we're all sort of like patting Duo on the back and leading him out as it fades. Mm-hmm. And he's we're just like, about the publisher. Right. No, I think this is a great moment. As uh, Duo is sort of like having a moment chatting with y'all, you hear a voice from behind go, run, 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 just run. I, oh, I took a- Oh, no. Now. Yes. Uh, yes. And- I love it. I love it. And transforms into uh, like a giant eagle real fast, picks up uh, some people that he can. He grabs yeah. Dante and like Laren. And yeah. suddenly you hear a rumbling oh, and no. a burst of lava starts Here we go. coming Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. tiny room. Yeah. And this oh, is where we're going to cut. No. Uh, is as Gazer's <laughs> running out. Oh hilarious. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing Absolutely this? Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and no one cut. went with Gazer to look at the kills. I was like, I said, I'm going to go by myself. Then. Yeah. No, I love it. This is exactly no, what this I love. Is this is fantastic. This is yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and I think now I want to do a thing where I'm going to create a little time stone for us. Okay. We are doing uh, this really great thing in these final uh, few episodes. We're going to be trading off the GMs. And so I want to establish um, this being a point that we can then jump off from or examine at any time we like and sort of build out content from there. Oh, that's. Would funny. you like to save your game? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this is, like, this is like previous saves. Exactly. <laughs> if you ever did a choose your own adventure book, this is basically your finger line. locked. Yeah, my finger right on the page. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and That's so, funny. in that, I want to now do a little bit of a time skip. Um, and I'm going to roll a die to look at the, out of the. Ooh, the stuff that we gave you? Out of the stuff, more or less out of the characters that are that we have. Who are we jumping into and what are we doing? <gasps> yes. I love that you pulled out like a whole notebook. <laughs> he was like, I'm ready. You're ready. And guess what? I rolled a one. So going from left to right, it's starting with Latia. Oh. Tahani, there is this moment where the lava surges 
out from the bog here. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you all make your way out into the damselfly. We cut to Walter saying, "Oh my God! Oh, we really, we really got out of there fast. Oh man, um, <laughs> should we? We should tell, like, folks at home that we should check in on them, right? Yeah, probably. They should know that the volcano. I mean, they probably knew the volcano. I, yeah, they probably knew. <laughs> and now I don't know if they changed stuff." Now it's flowing, and you look over and you see it's like erupting, maybe a little bit harder than it did before. And it's like ah, I might be backed up a little bit. We should we should warn people. It's a good thing Kirsten balls up on like a big tower thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's gonna say they'll, yeah. they'll 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 they're probably already you know they they got, they got you, good eyes. As you say that though, Dahani, you look um, and you watch a few Aracrocra fly towards the damsel supply from the outside oh, and they cool. said um hey hi oh. looks through the windshield oh my god is that the honey the honey oh my god oh it's so good to see you <laughs> i this is did truly you, why are you I left, burning hold on. down our island did you do this that this is truly why i left here of all everybody is just so loud oh my god <laughs> Kevin, it's the honey. They're back. And we see another guy coming. Oh my God, it's the honey. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's so this good. Is, this is the movie about the seagulls from Finding Nemo that we always wanted and never got. Oh my yeah. God. And Walter's like, hey guys, I'm Walter here. It's like, Walter, what, uh, what, uh, where'd you go? And Walter's uh, heart dies oh, a no. little bit in that moment. Uh, hi. Uh, no, what, uh, first of all, hi, you all saw me like six months ago. To no, yeah, I'm not burning nice down. If to, to no, I'm not burning down the island. What the heck? Didn't you notice that it was cold? Yeah, yeah. Don't you see us in our scarves and sweaters? It's pretty cold out here, man. We just didn't know. I mean, but now it's erupting like we, we were having our, you know, our local shaman and, and folks were going to try and like do some rituals. Frankly, we didn't want to go near the behold of the beholder that was in there uh, and the big stone. You, you knew? Well, I, we saw we saw a giant eyeball thing going in and out, and then we watched a stone monster shoot rocks at us every time we try to get close to it. Okay, well, at least you, you tried to do something. Yeah, it? of course. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Uh, well, situation resolved. Hi, um, not my doing these are my friends hello uh oh these are the rivals yeah yeah you told us about them when you visited right but now I, this is the introduction hello these are the, this is them oh hi nice to meet you guys do, do they want to come in uh do y'all want to come in i mean sure yeah uh, and you see okay, the rival, two of them sort rival, of yeah Come on down. Rival opens up uh, the loading bay, and they sort of swoop. I'm on almost in afraid that up. they're going to be even louder inside, but you know what? We'll we'll deal with that. <laughs> they're inside. And says, "Yeah, Tony, it's really <laughs> good to see you. You know, it's really nice. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Sorry, we didn't know how how thick the walls were uh, for the thing. So we're no, the amount of wind fine. that was whipping around up there. No, it's yeah, it makes sense. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, uh, things are. It's good. We figured out what was going on. Uh, murdered the giant beholder. Uh, defeated the giant rock person. Heck and, yeah! Uh, and number yeah, one murder bird. That's what we know and love. <sighs> Look, it was one time. One time. I mean, hey, you haven't murdered. Well, technically, this is your first murder on this island that we know of. Um, so it was okay. Hold on. First off, I didn't murder anybody on okay. this island. Okay. I did not defeat the beholder. Didn't you just say so you murdered the beholder? I did not say I murdered the beholder. We, the royal, we. the, uh, the not a, royal. We, we the not royal. Murder, but if we're gonna Eyes, point yes. the finger at somebody, so it's probably gonna just be just complicit shocked, in the murder. You are number one com- murder complicit bird. Oh boy. Well, wow. here's the thing: is it? I mean, murder implies intent, and uh, I did not intend to. You know what? This is a story for another time. Uh, anyway, uh, what what are you doing over here? 
I mean, we saw uh, Kevin pointed out. He points to the with Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is Kevin is actually a seagull. <laughs> yeah, Kevin is a seagull, Eric Uh And he looks at like, yeah, man, I uh, was looking out and I saw the volcano sort of going off. And I was like, whoa, that hasn't been happening in a while. So we thought we'd come check it out. And we noticed something in the sky and <laughs> closer. And then we saw you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is great news. Frankly, it has been so cold. For the past three months out here it's been really bad for our crops we've kind of had to just like fish a lot uh which mm -hmm. is good, but it's also kind of i think we're overtaxing certain parts of our environment so it's nice to get things back to normal yeah uh restore the ecosystem and all mm -hmm. that yeah 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 is that what you're here to do uh what do you mean like is that is that why you're back on schult are you here to like set things right no I mean, well, that's yes. We, okay. we, we, yes, yes, yes. The answer to that question is yes. Awesome. And Gosrick sort of uh, steps up and says, "Oh, you know, I don't really remember you all, but I do want to say I'm sorry if I threw rocks at you. I oh did not uh, intend to do it personally." Gosrick, it's not. It's not. It's, okay. it's, not okay? it's the no. It's it's good. It's, it's a good fun. impulse, but good. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go take a nap for about a week. <laughs> he like, yeah. Turns around. Yeah, that's sort of, totally reasonable. Yeah, 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 sort of makes his move. Uh, and you all are set in this moment where Walter says, "Can I, well, oh, yeah." No, I was, I was uh, based on this conversation and what we have seen. Like the volcano is fixed, but like kind of in a new way. Is there more? Do we get the sense? And I don't know if I'm asking the other Eric Hooker, or maybe I'm asking Tahani, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but do we get the sense that there is more that still needs to like be taken care of out here? Are there other like members of the Xanathar cult or whatever that were doing other things? Is like the environment just going to take care of itself or do you need to, I'm just wondering if there is a lot more to be done here. Cause that was a little bit the feeling that I got, but I can't tell. <laughs> and I, I really love that. And I'm going to say, I'm going to leave that for another GM. Because oh. I think this is as much time we're going to spend in this particular Gosh. moment. Because uh -huh. I think this is a really good Goodness. question. It's sort I'm of asking. Study if, like, these if, later. Yeah, yeah. Sort of right. come up and sort of explore on them in some way. Um, All right. Get everybody. Get out your Dahani memory cards. Put them in the PS2. <laughs> Where's my? Lock I just away. thought I could use a game genie. Is it okay yeah. to use that with these? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, Multiple sure. save files. Just yeah. game right. sharks are not allowed. I want no cheat codes. Okay. <laughs> Get this in my power glove. Kind of thing. <laughs> you know, I think, I think, um, it, Ken, do you voice any of that out loud? Uh, yes, I think I'm, I, okay, so in that case, yeah, I think I'm going to go ask Dahani that. Because mm -hmm. Ken sort um, of is getting a vibe and wants to just be clear. Okay. Um, so what, what Dahani does is that she looks down at the volcano, which is, you know, really, really just going for it. Um, and I think, she doesn't know the answer to that question. And I think she realizes that she may have to make another trip back to Chult in the next couple of months to see if things have like evened out. Okay. Because the only thing that we really knew was that the volcano was not volcanoing. Mm -hmm. And now it is volcanoing. And I think we just kind of have to see if that makes it better. Mm -hmm. If that kind of like, you know, mellows everything out. And I think uh, while you all were chatting about this, I rolled an additional die off screen to sort of jump on the next topic I wanted to explore. Um, and I rolled a four. So going across of what is currently in this overlay, we're going to talk about Shaka. Shaka, oh. we jump to a year from now. You are outside of Waterdeep, nearby, not too far. Uh, but you've sort of set up your own little space. You've created your own little puzzle shop. <gasps> Tell me about it. What is inside? What does it look like? What are the sort of things that you've got situated here? Yeah, so um, it is, uh, it's not much, mm -hmm. um, but he's trying to capture sort of the uh, the quaintness, I guess, of being mm -hmm. um, outside of the main city. Mm -hmm. um, so he's trying to do something that sort of... Um, Honestly, I think he was, this is his interpretation of being um, 
sort of influenced a bit by Gosrick and by, uh, you know, uh, Gosrick's connection with nature. So he's trying to create, so his building tries to look kind of like a natural formation. There's like, um, you know, it's sort of draped in uh, leaves and it's sort of like constructed out of like sort of tree bark, but it still kind of looks like a, like a large tree trunk, like essentially like a big thick trunk. Mm -hmm. Um, and um and he does um he wants to <laughs> he desperately wants to connect it somehow to the uh, building joke building but he was yeah. advised heavily against that so, yeah. <laughs> so surprisingly he has not come up with a name for it yet yeah um it's just like shaka's puzzle shop and um he's been trying to make a snazzy name for it but yeah honestly sps has been working though shaka's puzzle shop has been sort of the temporary sign that's up there has been like working you've had dealt with a little bit of uh, customers coming through you know you've had some people that are pretty uh zahir who's a pretty uh like who's that oh no who's the, from the temple of god am i thinking of the right person zafir 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 uh it sort of caught us out by a little bit at the beginning now if you go shut up um you now have got it pretty situated and at this moment you, we see you at the front of your desk you know odd knickknacks in your workshop of puzzles abound you've got your display shelves sort of stocked and we hear ding, 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 the chime bell of the door open as you watch nagru walk through the door mm -hmm. and he oh, says ah oh, chaka good to see you hey what's going on not much man i thought i'd just come in and say what's good you know we're looking at this new venture. You, I mean, I, I know I was here when you opened, but I haven't really been around much. I just wanted to stop in and say hi. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. You know, and he looks around and, uh, you know, there's not many, if any, other people in there right now. And yeah. he's like, yeah, you know, business is uh, it's going, you know, it's up and down, but that's yeah. just how it is starting a new, a new thing. Mm -hmm. But I just think that this is, you know, this will just help me keep my mind off things you know oh nice man um, well I, i'm glad to hear it um you know i was talking to some of the other dudes from the uh work sites and you know we've been growing doing a lot of work around the field ward creating some new playgrounds and opportunities for folks out there thanks for really striving that push through the the through those meetings you go to um and i pre i appreciate you doing that yeah, you know, I like just, you know, hanging out with folks and uh yeah, meeting, sure, you know. I I, I go to a couple of meetings here and there. Yeah. Um and uh Yeah, so um I guess uh what 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 project are you working on kind of nowadays? Anything big or just small things around town? Um not really. I actually It sounds weird, Chaka, but I one of my uh workers came by and he he gave me one of your puzzles and I was really, uh, I was fascinated on about, I was, I was tinkering on it for a while. Uh, and he pulls out this, uh, square that you designed. It's a cube with a series of sigils and markings on it that it could shift like a Rubik's, but also expand in some ways in a three dimensional space. And there is perfect alignment to make it into a, um, a uh what what is that thing a non-repeating tile uh, a tessellation uh, a tessellating object and so that is what you describe it to folks is like this is like you can shift it and make it and if you're like able to make it you get a prize and nagra was talking about yeah well a couple of guys were uh checking me on it and um i uh, i gave it a shot i was filtering around on it um and something weird happened I finished it, and he like shifts and he mo moves it and he shows it to you. I got it, and then it, it just watch. Uh, huh? And he sets the puzzle down, mm -hmm. raises his hand, and he casts Eldritch Blast on it. I couldn't do that before I did the puzzle. Okay, did you have to destroy the puzzle in the middle of my shop, though? No, no, but I mean, I look, look at this. Like, I get it. I, I, and he, like, he struggles out a mending cantrip, and it, like, fixes itself. I, 
What are you doing at this shop, Shaka? I think this might be a heavy coincidence. I am not putting any kind of spells inside of these puzzles. I'm not trying to convert folks or anything like that. Um, Wait, maybe one of these. Huh? Am I the first? Is what you're saying? I haven't had it. I mean, not that sales have been flying off the roof or anything, but um, I haven't had anyone uh, else come back and say that they su- suddenly gained uh, magic. No. Well, okay then. Um, you, you, you haven't heard any voices or anything, have you? Anyone kind of whispering to you? No. But I was kind of called to see you in some way. There was a part of me was like, oh, let me let me check in on Shaka. But a part of it is I think it was just because of your puzzle. I get it, but I mean no like internal kind of voices that only you could hear. No. That, uh... No, no. I I mean not like that. All right. I just um I just want you to be really careful because if you're suddenly getting these kind of powers, it kind of worries me that a, a certain energy might be, uh, you know, reforming in some way. Um, so as long as you're not hearing any kind of voices that are kind of telling you to do things or stuff like that, um, you should be cool. Okay. Um, but uh, if you want to get a little better with this stuff, uh, you know, we can go run a few rounds. You know, I can... Uh, Maybe train you for a little bit. That would be incredible. I've been working at this for a while, and like, I'll be honest, the the Aldrich blast is easy. Breaking stuff up, the mending one, I was reading the book about, and that one is kind of kind of hard. Uh, well, that's that, that's book. You, you don't you don't want to be a book nerd about magic, you know? Okay, like, okay, it's, it's okay. Very, See, these are things that active... I need to know. All yeah. the, I, that's what I think all these magic users are. They're just noses and books, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Try to figure it out. I mean, I mean, maybe a candle keep, sure, but sure, like here, sure, sure. here in the real world, uh, we we like don't j- just like read a book and say, yes, I'm an expert uh, warlock now. I read <laughs> warlockology. Okay. You know? Um, you gotta, yeah, yeah, you gotta be out there. Um, so, um, how about this? Um, do you know anyone else that has had this happen to you? Like your friend that gave you the? Actually, yeah, tell me a little bit about your friend that gave you the. Oh no! I mean, you know them. They're Mershu. You know, he was one of the other guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mershu uh, Wizrook was the former Xanathar warlock. Uh, yeah. Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Who's then been been working was off a day from a work, but then copped in. So yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Mershu stopped by. You know, he, he came into the shop a little bit ago, and Shaka, you remember he uh, visited like a little bit ago he you keep in touch with a lot of the former yeah dan locks yeah. it's one of the things that you've been doing uh um, yeah and so yeah it's like yeah he sort of reached out to me about it you might have to uh i might have to talk to him um this can't be the puzzle it can't be the puzzle well okay um i mean i hope at least intentionally it's not the puzzle but, yeah um so yeah i have to um yeah i'll i'll go talk to him uh because this is very strange. Okay. Very strange. Um, anything else that, that you can do that you figured out you can do? Not inside uh, the shop, please. Hey, open that window. Okay. I uh, very hesitantly. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you know. You know what? To to help inspire, I, I'm going to cast Mage Hand to open the window, and the, and then I'm going to say. Can you do that? Uh, let me try. Ha! And just shoots an Eldritch Blast through his hand at the, <laughs> it's the corner of the window. Okay, look, look, look. This is not the movies, okay? You don't sure. you, you, you don't have to really do this, these dramatic... Yes, the movies. Um, you know, uh, this is not the, uh, the uh, Waterdeep flicks, okay? Okay. Um, you All don't right. have to... Dr- you, you don't you don't have to dramatically uh, stand and yell for things to happen. Oh, learn a it's, lot. It's more just a oneness in yourself, you know. Okay. And I actually, Virgil actually, is I, personally I, offended and isn't even here by that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I I actually think this is a great moment of you discussing magic with Nagru is how yes. we're gonna sort of like 
pull back a little bit from this uh, bit. Um, and let me roll a die. The folks that are, are here. Okay. So we're going to go with Virgil. Ooh. In this moment, we're jumping back two months. Okay. You are working so hard to get these timings in. And I got to tell you, that's not what I'm taking notes about no, here. No, no, no. So. I'm, I'm, I've been keeping track of it. <laughs> Tahani has started immediately after. I, I guess I just lied to you, though, because I do actually have I was gonna say, timings you have in these notes. Yeah. I do. So you're right. <laughs> Shaka's, we uh, has at least the moment I'm honing in on is one year after. Yeah, one year after he set up his puzzle shop, and now with Virgil, we're two months after the Schultz incident. Great, another the tangled incident. web we weaved, uh, right? Um, and you and Kent are actually together here in Caradun. You've arrived Ooh. back home. You're oh, in the Zor wow. family estate. Um, cool. You've just set your bags down. And Dante says, hey, bro, good to see you. Uh, what, what, I'm going to tear your bags for you. You're going to get them yourself? What's going on here? I, we, we can carry. No, no, nah, nah, I'm just giving you a hard time. I... Hey, come on. And he, he claps and he, he's got some of the other like Zor family attendants comes in and says, we'll get you all set up in your own room. Don't worry about it. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. It's good to have you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's strange to be back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't know if you wanted me to redecorate. So I kind of left things mostly the same. Uh, I did take down the angrier paintings of dad that I could find. Uh, but I left up the ones where I thought he looked happy. What? Why would it matter... If I wanted you to redecorate, you live here now. Yeah, yeah, I live. Yeah, of course, I live here now. I, 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 I was. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's go. Um, uh... Kent is absolutely having none of this nonsense. This is all so over. Like this place. I, I assume this place is a, is is lavish and a little opulent and all Virgil of the things. Virgil has right? been kind of like kind of putting the hand like a little squeeze on the shoulder because yes. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, and and. And like that is actually Kent's lifeline more than his his leash, huh? Because like this is everything you know. People are gonna do things for me, and everything's beautiful. But also, I couldn't be more uncomfortable. <laughs> I could not be more uncomfortable here you know, right now. It's all dirty money in some capacity and so, of like whatever. Well, that I don't means. know that that necessarily. Yeah. Oh, is, is that right, it? But, okay. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so I think what happens because if this is only two months after Chult, uh, yeah. Kent is still discovering and understanding his new bardic powers. Mm -hmm. um, and so he, as uh, as this dude is like, yeah, I live here and I'm being all super weird about it. Yeah. Uh, Kent is gonna be like, God, what are you thinking? Why are you being like that? And just sort of mutter that under his breath and a little tiny, like one of those silver words, but this time it's a mostly transparent little coil, mm -hmm. uh, like a cable snakes out and connects to and then disappears into um dante's like the back of his head as he turns to go mm -hmm. and i would like to cast detect well kent doesn't know he's doing it but it cast detect thoughts on dante sure. um and i'm not because i kent doesn't know what he's doing uh, i won't probe deeper so there's no save i just hear what dante is thinking on surface level thoughts like what he's thinking about in this exact moment dude you're doing too much chill you're like, you're like, I know you're nervous about him coming back. He's probably freaking out a little bit about being here. Okay. You didn't need to do that stuff with the portraits. Just relax, calm down. And like you okay. see, like sort of that's Dante's monologue in his head. Okay. Um, as he's um, really discussing that. That actually, Kent was expecting, he was so weird about it that Kent was like expecting there to be some bomb about, oh, he hasn't lived here and the family's lost all their money or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and so hearing that he's just, nervous actually mm -hmm. relaxes kent a little so verge you probably feel that uh and i just sort of whisper to you like um i mean coming from me i know this is weird but maybe we can give him the benefit of the doubt today he seems nervous to please uh, you. 
actually. Uh, that's almost weirder. I, okay. I know, but like somehow better. I think he's trying. So I got my chefs together to whip up one of the favorite things that I heard about. Gazrick was raving about it on the flight back of the day. Don't you flight. dare. It was hard. It was hard to get it sourced, but no. I got Don't some people to make ice spider stew. God, he told me <laughs> how much he oh loved this Virgil. He said, oh, and honestly, it's not for me. I don't really like it too much, but I figured I'd make some for you. That's very thoughtful. I am not sure we could possibly impose. I, I know you've probably gone to a lot of effort. And I do appreciate it. Perhaps we can talk about Gosrick's uh, culinary expertise later. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll be willing to chat with him about it. Um, uh, you guys can give a perception check if you guys want to as you guys enter sure. the dining room. Where's my character sheet? Beautiful. It's behind 15 tabs. Nope, that's not the right one. So I'll take the die roll, but not the. Yeah. Oh, it's a six. Six, a six for <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yeah, 12. That's a uh, it was 12. a low roll. <laughs> you, you don't really notice it in this moment. I think you're just taking all of this in. Um, there you're, is, you're to like. They um, both rolled 12. So my there, God. There's a family portrait of like a young Virgil and a young Dante standing in like, uh, like next to an imposing like oh, father. I'm so figure upset. I don't see it. Yeah, no, 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 you see that. Oh, that okay, is okay, 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 okay. You're okay, okay, okay. captivated by all of these, like, portraits that were, like, clearly Virgil having to stand still at, a, like, a young age for a long, very uncomfortable. Um, you will tease them about that haircut choice uh, mm. at some point. Mm. Uh, mm. But that's what mm. you see in this moment. Um, Virgil, you're looking around. So um, flat. And you, <laughs> you see in front of you... Um, there's only three table settings set up. Hot. <laughs> I was smiling and then, what? <laughs> so. Uh, detect magic lasts for, uh, detect thoughts lasts for a while. So if he's thinking anything that might explain the situation, <laughs> let me sure. know. Absolutely, absolutely. And he's just like, okay, dinner's set. Um, we sent up. Uh, a plate to Laren's room already. Um, I would have loved for him to be here, but you, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, Great. Yeah. I'll yeah. keep it to myself See, for now. But yeah. seeing seeing that, it's it's more. It, it's really like is is it just us for for meals? Um. Oh yeah, we don't we don't need any help. You guys, uh, you, you we're good. Thank you. Um, and the staff kind of walks out um he hasn't really uh left his room or the estate since we got back i've been trying i've been um haven't been forcing him to work in the family i've, I've, I've just like um I did have an ulterior motive of inviting you here. Um, and that was maybe that you could talk to Laren. Uh, there just might be some things about his magics that I can't relate to. Um, and I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to, uh, I, 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 I thought maybe, yeah. Have you, have you at least told him how sorry you are? not though for protecting him for 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 keeping him from engaging I, I i'm not sorry about that okay and you don't you you don't see how that protection that that odd form of love did nothing more than push him further away <sighs> i have been reflective in the months and, and trying a different attitude and how I engage with Blair. And I, I don't know if I'm overcorrecting too hard, but I, 
I'm not shouting at him. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting on him to get a job. I'm not, I'm not doing. Yeah. Cause yeah, I, I admit there was a while where I wanted it to be a little more productive and a little more engaging. Um, and I think I emulated my own scars in not telling him that he was enough just as he was, that he needed to make his worth. Um, I don't know how to undo that, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, uh, he won't even talk to me. He won't even talk. All I can do is try. And, and he, Virgil looks at the places around the walls where the former family portraits were. Mm-hmm. And he's like, it sometimes takes a lot of time. And, I'm sorry to say, he may never forgive you, but you may at least come to an understanding. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm, as long as he's not under the Xanathar's thrall, as long as he's happy, and healthy i'm happy you know that's enough uh kent in this moment you sort of uh are captivated by these photos you're sort of walking around exploring the space um (laughs) that's right (laughs) and uh you've got your collection of items and traveling goods with you um it's the first time you're also back in Caradoon. What's that? Like? Uh, uh, not great, but like yeah. the discomfort at being at the Zora residence is so far outweighing being back in Caradoon. Yeah. So it's chill. <laughs> and like as you're uh, walking around, um, you sort of walk by a mirror. Um, and <laughs> well, that'll distract me. You look at it, you see it, you're looking at it. Uh, and you hear. You notice something out of the corner of your eye. And you see, standing behind you through the mirror's reflection, is Grotz. So, have you been enjoying this new gifts that you've benefited from? I'm sorry, you what? Okay. I'm going to reach back to where it looks like he is and see. Yeah, you touch that chest. I mean, listen, I'm not not aiming for yeah. it. doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I might not be here, but you can feel what it's there. It like kind of brushes your hand away. <laughs> what, you suddenly you got the ability to make words into daggers and glitter and and suddenly grab this bardic persona and you didn't think i'd been lingering around long enough to just <laughs> okay all right so, i'll bite what do we do now though because now yeah. you can finally see me which is great because i've been around for a while trying to get out of this stupid earring <laughs> do you need to cut a deal like i i gave i i figured out how to get you a little little juice kent is I, I don't even know kent is delighted and horrified and um and so i think what he's gonna do is he's not gonna answer He's going to reach up and take the earring out. Mm-hmm. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> he pops out of the mirror. Oh, great, because I was going to make that way more complicated, but that's yeah. exactly what he, I was eventually <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. going to try and get to, right? Yeah. Uh, just like looking him straight in the eye uh, whenever I can tear my eyes away from his abs and the, and just taking it out <laughs> until he disappears. And you he see so his many. hand reach towards you to almost like, pause you from doing it Mm -hmm. but as he like takes a step closer it vanishes out from the mirror's reflection great Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so I'm gonna take that out and just look at it for a minute and say, not today, Gratz, uh, and put it like in a in a pocket, in a pouch, in a pocket, in a bag, yeah. in another pocket, right? Like, uh, no sleep like, touching this thing. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Oh, you, I have a sure. little bit of a catalog of what are some of the soul trinkets that you've yeah. collected. Yeah. I have Is what one, one of them happens to be like a Zan lock, right? Oh shit! Yeah, I think so. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember list. there was like one uh, previous, Ooh, and like, because in this moment you see another uh, that Zanlock pop out into the frame. Wow, yeah. It says, "Yeah, that guy is so annoying, dude. It is really, <laughs> it is really hard to be around him." Um. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. Oh, uh, By the way, yeah, what are these plan to do just with our starts, I was just Kent, wondering. Yeah, Kent just starts taking off all of his jewelry and his, the cloak pin and yeah. the, and just shoving it in his pockets. And is Kent's conversation with these um is Kent's conversation with these phantoms, is it audible or is it one of those he thinks it's inside his head and it's not? Well, Virgil, you round the corner, and what do you see <laughs> while this is happening? Because that, that I think that might uh, enlighten a this lot. And the, I think that came in. Virgil came in just as he just as he was taking out the Grotz earring, which mm -hmm. gave Virgil a little bit of a concern since he we, we generally only kept it with us to keep people from getting to it at mm -hmm. the manor. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then to see his immediate surprise at the at what he is now perceiving as the next person in the mirror and to watch him just start taking off all of his trinkets is like, what are are you okay? They're not gonna steal anything here. I know my family's bad, but <laughs> <laughs> all that hurts um it's not oh oh virgil your family is fine i mean they're you know they're fucked up but like we'll deal with it it's fine uh <laughs> you know what that's a fair assessment of us no <laughs> that's the that's the cloak <laughs> no, no, it's not it's not it's not well, oh, Dante. Right. Oh, but, but Ken thinks it's one of the, right? It's the yeah. one left. And so he just tears his cloak <laughs> off. Um, Dante, could you show us to our rooms, please? We could use a freshening up moment. Oh, absolutely. You all been on the road for a while. Let me get you all squared away. Um, and, and, and you know what? We can chat about this. Uh, take a bath if you need to. Get yourself yeah. situated. Uh, you okay? Uh, you hungry? No. Dehydrated? <laughs> Do you have sure. rabies? What's going on? Just maybe, just <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Good. Maybe. Yeah. yeah maybe. He's like, oh, first, like, like oh, Dante has no idea. He just walks around the corner and it's just like, yep. Do you get bit yep. by something on the road? What's going? Fair on? Fair enough. Yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, you know what? I yeah. If. If you can let us know where our room is and maybe send up some wine. So I didn't know if you wanted your old room. So I also have a guest room available. It's up to you. We'll take the guest room. That probably makes sense. Uh, I'm so is... disappointed that Ken is too flustered right now to <laughs> say some snarky comment about how I'm absolutely exploring his old bedroom later. He's totally, you know, Ken is totally going to explore Virgil's room. Oh yeah, it doesn't change the fact that it's going to happen. I just okay, can't yeah, comment yeah, yeah. on it right it's now because like, I'm freaked keeping out. Keeping it on the like to-do list kind of tucked away. <laughs> Somewhere in the back of his mind is like yeah. calm Kent being like, oh, we going in there. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and so you guys make your way into your room and sort of get situated there. We're going to come back to y'all later uh that's two months after show two days after show jesus so Lise, we see you in a room <sighs> Faye is across from you are they sitting at a table are they bound are they handcuffed how is this a conversation happening? imagine every bad csi episode with the double mirror and yeah, like the yeah, table yeah. and she's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And Brian's like, on the other side of the glass talking with you. It's like you gotta be. Who's Brian? Like, yeah. Oh, Brian from, from Troll Skull. Brian from oh, the okay. Brain. Yeah. Brian the Brain. Brian. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look, we've we've slipped up a lot. So yeah, it's okay. Fair enough. I'm uh, neutral cop. You're emotional cop. <laughs> okay, sure. No emotions. Oh, no, Brian. We got this. So yeah, she's she's like you know how 
There's only like the one hand free, but this is face, so I reconsider that no hands are free. Yeah. Um, and she's just basically she's bound to this chair, and there's a table between us, and that's the only thing saving her right now. Right. <sighs> well, very polite of you to um, at least not. I don't know. Put rope in my mouth. Like clearly, we can talk. I don't know about me being polite right now. Me being polite is you're still breathing. Mm-hmm. So why'd you do it? Why why did you why did you lie? Why did you pretend to care? And make it good. Um I'll try and make it honest. I got a job. I was hired to do something. Mm -hmm. I was hired to protect my city from individuals who had been in the past magnets for danger. Your city. My city, yeah. (laughs) I'm not from... Tarami. I'm not from somewhere else. Waterdeep is my home. And you realize that I'd made Waterdeep my home by now, right? Yes. You say Something this. Something I learned. <sighs> I had no idea who you were when I started, other than a threat. And so I did my job. Mm-hmm. And at some point, it wasn't my job. And that was really hard. And then Laryl decided that showing the cards at her pace was more important than anything that I had built. Anything that we had built. We? Yes, we. You and Laryl? You and me? Who's we? You and me. Oh, the we that you threw out, the we that you lied to me about, the we that... I let you in and look at what you've done. That we? I have no space to talk about this. Well, you're not going anywhere. I figured you didn't want to hear anything that I had to say. So I went back to doing my job. Went back to protecting Waterdeep. Went back to doing what I could. I mean, it, it was harder. I mean... Laryl burned me and no one really wanted to get any contracts. And so I found work where I could. And then I got a whiff of something dangerous. So this kid asking for help and robbing the city of the dead, saying it was a big score, a big payout with someone who'd been working underneath Waterdeep for a while. Investigated, I realized it was a Xanathar. And you all killed that thing so fast. You all got there and really eliminated them as a threat. I couldn't do that on my own. So I figured maybe I'd try to, sounds dumb, even the scales, do what I could double cross someone else for you all. I left the piece of glass in Duo's shirt. I stole Duo away from the pod that he was in. I burned the insignia. I created the magic to give you the trail. Like I I laid the breadcrumbs to make sure that you guys knew we're there. I nearly got killed by setting up that really I knew you'd be able to handle an undead beholder and a series of zombie orgs, ogres. Setting that up on my own was dangerous. I lost a bit of my scarf. I mean, a little bit of my cape. I don't... I wanted to be even. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. 
but this was my attempt to start. Even. You treat us like a threat, even though you knew that we were fighting for Waterdeep. We held an open forum to hear everyone's complaints and concerns and did everything we could. So yet you still saw us as a threat. It changed and over time. <sighs> it, it started that way, yes. And then it grew into something different where I, I didn't think I could question the open lord of Waterdeep. I didn't feel like it, my judgment outweighed theirs and worse i felt like i was being clouded with emotion so i kept doing my job and it became harder and harder every day it really did and sleesh just leans in and she lets her see the hurt finally do you know how much it fucking hurts to hear i was a job to you do you understand just how much it burned me when I gave you a chance and you have been the first one I opened up to since my wife died in my arms? This isn't just a job. This isn't just a threat. You talk of making it even. How can you ever make that up to me? How? I don't know. I thought it was this. But um, if this isn't enough, then maybe nothing will be. And maybe um, you murder me. I try to murder you in self-defense. <laughs> you think that'll happen? Or we never see each other again. I want you to hurt the way that you've hurt me. And I don't know what I can do to you because clearly you have no heart. Nope. Not anymore. Uh, out of character question. Are the other rivals around witnessing this on the other side of like the... Your the... two-way mirror? It's, yeah. a, it's a, your one-way mirror, sorry. The yeah. two-way mirror is glass. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's up to you. I really, like, this is your moment in your creation. If you want, I threw out the joke of, obviously, this being an interrogation of, like, Brian being on the other side. But whether or not you want to share this with any of the other rivals is up to you. This is two days after the Schult incident. So we're back in Waterdeep. They're, they are nearby, but who you choose to include in this, I'm going to leave to you. Because I feel like Celise, in a moment of clarity, would have asked either Kent or Shaka as her oldest friend to help her keep her word. Because remember what she asked Kent. I, I don't, it's two days. So I don't know if Shaka is up to it. I think if Shaka was up for it, and Kent might even encourage Shaka to be up for it just as something else to do. Um, but I, I think, uh, yeah, you, you tell me, Shaka. Shaka would, because he knows that Selyse wouldn't ask if it was, unless it was like super critical, mm -hmm. he would try to pull himself together. But I, I don't know how effective he would be, but he would. Sure. But, he still but I also love the, the idea of maybe like, Shaka needs this as much as Celise does. Like mm. we see, we've seen him a year from now, right? But two days after, how does he get to where he is a year from now? Yeah, yeah. See that? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And like he doesn't know that going in, but right? No, of right, course, of course. Not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, Shaka's there. I don't mm -hmm. know if Kent's there, but Shaka's there. Sorry, I was muted. Um, interesting. Yeah, Ken can be there, but I think he's really going to be laying back unless absolutely necessary. Because when when she says that I don't know if there's anything to do, Celise is on the verge of losing control again like she did with Zaraj. Okay. And there may not be a coming back from this. Because it's not just that Zaraj betrayed her and acted as if nothing was wrong. Faye got in with her friend. She feels like she could have done so much more damage. 
she could have hurt any of you beside her heartbreak and betrayal. So she's like on the verge of doing the like pull you across the table. Now, would Shaka be like on that other side of the mirror, though? Right? Yeah, you that, would. Like, like just you and her in the room. Yeah, but there'd be an easy way. For, there'd be a door for you to come in. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could easily get in the room. Like, if you uh, saw things popping yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. If I see that, I would definitely, uh, I would wave to whoever is with me, whether Kent or Brian or both. And I would, I would open the door. Yeah. And what you find is, is Celise just kind of like, trying so hard not to cry and show her just how badly she's hurt, but still trying to strangle her. Yeah. And actually, I honestly wouldn't even say anything at the beginning. I would just slam <laughs> over the door to yeah. kind of like try to startle you out of it. Oh no, there's no uh, startle. There's focus mode. All right. Yeah. Then I'm going to, I'm going to go over and I'm going to say, Celise, just think about this. You could have killed her days ago. Okay, days ago. Would have been easy. You kept her alive for a reason. I needed to hear why, Shaka. How she could do this to us. No, I agree. She, she's awful. <laughs> I wonder what, what a phase reaction is. Like but yeah, but yeah, phase a piece of trash. Just a literal garbage. Still in the room. Part. Can hear you. And Not now. Um, <laughs> but... but but um, just, just like I'm not gonna get in the way of your vengeance. Well, I guess I technically right now. But, but um, just just think about the fact that you could have ended this at any time. Is this the proper time to end it? If you say, if you think about it and say yes, I'm going. Okay. But you brought me here for a reason, right? Like 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 like, like you asked us here for a reason, and I I I I don't think this is time. Um, I actually look at Kent and I kick the table and chair back mm. and I cast Dimension Door under it. Whoa. And in the split second before she drops through it, I flip her the bird. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? I... To hell! Goodbye! I, yeah. I might have said it to Avernus. I don't know. To I don't know where somewhere. Dimension Door sends you. I just... Yeah. It, 500 feet in any direction. Oh, so she's in the core of the Earth. Even better. <laughs> straight down. Hey, straight down. Straight down. <laughs> straight down. I'm going Sewers down. Alarming. And uh, as the portal closes, we linger on the three of you in this room looking at one another. And I think that's where we're going to end for today. Uh, let's go around and do our outros. And while we're doing that, if folks uh, in the chat want to start plugging their questions for either NPCs or characters that we've had, uh, let's go around and do our outros. We're going to go in uh, counterclockwise, so regular clockwise order this time, uh, starting with uh, Sharif. Hey, y'all. Uh, this is Sharif. Uh, you can catch me at sharifjackson.com, S H A R E E F, jackson.com, Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Uh, make sure to check out my website for the latest video uh, through Equation Play. I'm currently working on one based on um, the uh, Tears of the Kingdom Zelda trailer. Ooh, uh, because they have some interesting, some in well, it's not trailer, the 10 minute walkthrough that they yeah, yeah. Uh, posted because um, they already talked about some of the cool little physics stuff that they're going to have in that game. Some like momentum so, things with like time and. Don't spoil it, boy. Don't I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. Um, but, 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 but. but 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 um yes yes but yes um, <laughs> very cool very cool yeah yeah, so, yeah i i just found it funny because um they just casually used the word like buoyancy when they were talking about <laughs> yeah. and, and i was like no right. knows what that is yeah. so i'm doing a video yeah. on, on a buoyancy yeah um but it's yeah, something we and, encounter a lot like buoyancy like, is constantly around us so i know i was just said but i don't think it's a word that was used. but 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 and, and, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, and uh, ch check me out on uh, Twitter and social media and all that stuff. Heck yeah. Coming right along, we have Eugenio Vargas. Hi, I'm Kent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands on the internet. Uh, you can follow me here on Twitch and on Twitter at DM Jazzy Hands. Um, Sorry, this was great. Uh, we, I, you all who are uh, watching or listening after, um, 
you know, if you've ever tried to end a campaign before, like it can it can be tough. It can feel jarring and sudden, and you want all of these things, but you don't know how to get them. Um, and this episode has really created, thank you, Masood, because I think it's created a really cool like structure and tool for us to do exactly what we've been saying we want to do for a while now. So I'm I'm still a little in all of that. Anyway, uh, follow me on Twitter and and uh, and I was about to say Instagram, but I don't do shit over there and <laughs> uh, Twitch. Uh, tomorrow night uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on Twitch.tv slash CNE Games uh, is the premiere of Series 3 of uh, Familiar Quest. I'm so excited. Uh, the cast has gotten to release their familiars and the art of them. So uh, Brian here is playing uh, Disco, but Disco now gets a new form. He was a Moonstone Dragon. They were a Moonstone Dragon before, and now... Uh, well, Brian can tell you all about it. And then we have um, Alicia Murray is joining us with a Will-O-Wisp named Misty. Uh, Megan Kenrick is going to be back reprising Squiddle from season one, but this time as an elder godling. That's okay. I don't know what that means either. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, Kelly the Opera Geek is going to be reprising her guest role as Scotty. The uh, well, last last season Scotty was just a dog, uh, but this season Scotty is with us full time and is a blink dog, which is like a dog, but <laughs> like, like a dog with teleport like dog. I'm so excited! Um, I'm so excited for y'all. I can't wait to watch. I'm so excited. I hope that I take the reins from you, Latia, because uh, I will be jamming this season. So I hope that I take them from you and do you proud. Uh, but that's tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, over on twitchtv CNE Games. Then I'll be streaming Tuesday and Thursday as normal. Uh, and we'll be back at you in two weeks. So that's where you can find me for the next little bit. Heck yeah. And then coming right along in our outros, we've got Brian. Hey, uh, I am Brian. I am Urban Bohemian pretty much everywhere on the internet. And yeah, I'll be on Twitch. Um, sorry, I lost my own schedule there for a minute. Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And is there any other special stuff aside from tomorrow we will be doing a familiar quest series three over on twitch.tv slash cne games i will be playing disco who was a baby moonstone dragon and who will now be a fractal mascot because hey, still fractals! shiny yeah. still shiny still sparkly and you know maybe loving the new form maybe not we don't know i'm <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing what kind of nonsense um i've already joked that like you know having having Yehenyo in the dm chair is going to be a weird shift of power balance yeah. i'm not really sure how i'm going to handle that <laughs> but it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine um cool. otherwise yeah beyond that i really uh, 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 uh. No, I will see you back here in two weeks. Um, if anything else changes, please follow me on Twitter or Bohemian for as long as the site may last. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then coming right along, we've got Tanya. Uh, hi, I'm actually uh, leaving tonight. I'll be in Seattle for a couple days. And then Wednesday is my birthday, so I'm going to do absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. Turning 50, so uh, spending the day getting pampered and then running away with my partner for the rest of the week. So... I won't see y'all until I decide to stream again. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, but when I come back, it'll be Resident Evil 4, some Last of Us Part 1 on PC. Thank you, AMD and Capcom. And um, news that I alluded to on my Patreon. Hopefully, I'll be able to tell you soon. So, yes. Very dope. And then, rounding us out, we've got Latia. It me. Uh, hi. Uh, you can find me across the internet at my name, which is Latia Jaquise, because there's only one of me. And so far, that is true. Um, doppelgangers be damned. Um, I am also, I mean, you know, I'm on the West Coast. So uh, normally you can catch me on Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash Beyond, but we will not be streaming this week. Instead, you can catch the D&D Direct Post Show uh, repeat. Uh, which was a very fun time, and we got to interview a couple of really cool people. So you should check that out anyway. Um, and then you'll see me in two weeks here again. And in the interim, my birthday is also happening right, next right. Monday. Uh, a lot of April birthdays among the rivals. Um, I am turning not 50. No, like, literally no shade to you, Tanya. 50 is awesome. I'm just not turning it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have an unremarkable birthday, right? Like, it's like one of the random years where it's just like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm turning, turning 25. Right. I'm turning 35. So it's a nice round a age, yeah, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah. Seven and five both go into it. Those are fun. See, see, Sharif? See, I know, man. I am, I am, I am <laughs> turning the neck. I, I am turning a sequence of the Fibonacci uh, thing. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm going three, five. Yeah. 
Hey. So that won't happen again until I turn 58. Uh, <laughs> uh, but other than that, I'm just rambling at this point. Perfect. Well, and let it ramble on to me then. Hey everyone, I'm Masood. I'm your been your GM this episode. You just play Gazric. Um, you can find me on the internet and and Instagram and Twitter at Maroodboy. M A H R U D E B O I. I'm gonna be here with these folks, just playing Rivals right now and having a great time doing it. Um, yeah, just having a blast. Well, keep up to date about when our next episode will be, which will be in two weeks, and we'll let you all know uh, what to expect with that one in terms of. Um, where we pick off after this episode, but I think we're run, we unfortunately run out of time, so we'll answer the chat questions either on Twitter or in our Patreon and let you know either way. Um, but we just want to give another shout out to one, all of you all for sticking with us along this ride, for hanging out with us, um, really to all the folks uh, who support us on our Indiegogo campaign, to all the folks on the Patreon. Um, we do this for y'all, and we really appreciate that you all are here to support us uh in our final few episodes so thank you thank you and thank you um i did we plan on who we are rating for we today? are we're gonna raid uh dj knight who is having a rare sunday stream Yay. Okay. and uh awesome. um, and also uh we're gonna before we go we're gonna start the raid to dj but we're also gonna show everyone thanks who support us on indiegogo we will be sending out some info on uh when we will hopefully have our art piece for those that that sport at that level and after all of my travel and shenanigans i will hopefully get you all your stickers and buttons for those who are expecting those in the mail and yeah but we're gonna start a raid we're gonna show you supporters and we'll see you in two weeks Peace. bye y'all bye, bye.